Now to a continuing investigation that you've only seen on Local 10 News, an elaborate Facebook scam putting an entire neighborhood on edge. And there has been a break in the case, and we're learning the suspect lived very close to his alleged victims. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live in Dania Beach with the exclusive tonight. Andrew. This is part of a much bigger issue, by the way, that we exposed exclusively here on Local 10 News. In this case, with this suspect, he's only 18 years old. No more Facebook for a while for 18 year old Maurice Verado. He's the man, say deputies, behind an elaborate Facebook scam that turned victim against victim. And there were many things turned violent. People have complete strangers coming to their home saying they're here to rent their car, having no idea who this person is. The person that's going to the home having no idea they're about to find out that they've been scammed. Prosecutors say it was a recipe for disaster. Verado posting fake rental ads using his neighbor's cars in Dania Beach, they say, collecting deposits to rent those cars, then giving his neighbor's addresses for pickup. Strangers would keep showing up to those homes. What's their reaction when you tell them my car is not for rent? I don't think they believe me. I didn't even know you can rent a car on that Facebook app. Didn't he think that if he got caught, he's going to go to jail for a long time? Robert Vasquez is relieved. His son's car was smashed up after one of those misunderstandings with a renter online. Deputies got to Verado through a series of numbers and emails, writing subpoenas or warrants to companies like Google, Zelle, and Facebook, connecting a million little pieces to Verado who they say acknowledged to creating fake Facebook screen names a long time ago and always having backup accounts in case Facebook took his down. He's facing 13 different charges and his mother asked the court for some slack to get him out. I was just trying to see if he could get a lower bond because I, I really don't have it like that. Is there anything else that you'd like to share? Um, Nothing else that I'm just sorry for everything. I just want to point out it's still unclear exactly how many victims are involved just with him. We're still trying to work all that. He's got a $50,000 bond. He's got an upcoming hearing to try and reduce that bond that will, of course, be attending. But again, this is part of a much bigger problem with Facebook marketplace scams that we've been covering. You're going to want to check out some of the stories and some of the other victims in other cases that we've interviewed and covered on our website, local10.com. That's later.